I made this video because I wanted to know what is the expected value, the EV, of Commander Legends Collector Boosters. I'm going to hit you with the results straight away. I'm not going to bury this lead. I, by my calculations, $25.25 per pack. That calculates out to $303 per box. That is nuts. No wonder these things are selling for $275 a box. When you have EV like this, makes sense. Couple of assumptions. I used TCG player market price for all of these things. I'll note that that's as of 12.13 here. So, you know, prices can change. Maybe this is a little bit different now. Maybe. I only considered cards that were greater than $2. In a moment, I'll tell you how I actually calculated all this stuff. It's pretty complicated. Uh, one of the reasons why I think this information is so darn hard to find is it's actually very tedious to calculate the EV for something like this. Because look at all of these different things and sometimes other things that you get in one of these booster packs. It's crazy. But I did it. I did it for your benefit. For my benefit, I wanted to know. So here's what each of these different slots is going to get you. And we can see actually where the value of this, um, these booster packs actually ends up being, which is informative. So first up, remember, we're only using cards valued at $2 or greater within any one of these slots. So foil commons, there's nothing here. There are no foil commons worth anything above $2. So this, we just, we get nothing out of that. Okay, two foil legends. Um, turns out this is, there's some probabilities here that I had to factor in. You usually get two foil uncommons, which is basically worth nothing. But sometimes you get a foil rare, sometimes you get a foil mythic. Um, altogether, though, your expected value here is not much. It's 26 cents. You're not getting much value out of this. Basically, all that 26 cents is coming out of the sometimes you get a mythic. You get a mythic, I would say, somewhere once every, like, you know, 24 packs or so. So, you know, there you go. You get a quarter. <laughs> but a lot of, lot of variability there. Okay, the two foil uncommons. Um... Now, if they're uncommons themselves, they're basically worth nothing. But sometimes you get an extended art foil uncommon. So you can get an extended art soul ring, um, arcane signet, something like that. And those are actually worth something, um, worth quite a bit. So this slot right in here is, is pretty good. Actually pretty good. You're getting two bucks and 42 cents of value. Again, there's a lot of variability here. Um, some of your packs are going to be doing quite well. Most of the packs are going to be basically duds in that, in that slot. Okay, here's the big money slot. Your foil, rare, or mythic. The important thing to know here is that sometimes, 30% of the time, you're going to get this as an extended art foil. And that's where really the big money is going to be coming out. That's where you get your, like, you know... Full Art, Foil, Jeweled Lotus, Mana Drain, all that kind of stuff. That's what's really driving the price here. So again, you're going to get a lot of variability um, out of this slot. But your EV is pretty high, $7.66 coming out of that one slot. So that's kind of your big swing, swing and maybe miss slot. Um, here's your Extended Art, um, Common, Uncommon. This is always a non-foil, so you're really not getting much out of this one, it turns out. Uh, always being extended art. There's not very many that are actually worth all that much. Finally, your extended art non-foil. Important to note that this one is never foil, rare or mythic. Five dollars, seventeen cents. It's pretty good too. Again, that's being driven very heavily by your mythics. You're really um, top dollar sorts of things. Note that there's some probabilities embedded in each of these things because uh, most of the time you're getting rares, sometimes you're getting mythics. I took that into account calculating these. All right, finally, the etched foil slot. This, um, this slot actually turns out to be a lot of your value because these are holding up pretty well. Out of the uncommons, there's actually several that are worth something. So you're actually, on average, you know, here's your expected value, you're pulling 76 cents out of that slot. Not bad. The reprints, the reprints are the good ones here. You're pulling $5.13 is your expected value on a reprint. That 
reprint foil etch. That's that's pretty good stuff there. And then finally, um, the rare or the mythic. Note that um, there are there's one mythic of each color that could occur here. Two of which are the planeswalkers. You'll get them in the full art foily special fancy frame. They're not etched in that case. Um, that's Tevishzat and Jessica, and then you'll get the other three um, colors of foil etched mythics. Those ones really drive the price here quite a bit. The uh, foil etched rares from the set are not really worth very much. What I think is kind of interesting is that if you look at all this together, these foil etched slots are all together making up $9.19 out of all of that EV. Remember the total EV here all summing that together is $25.25. And it's just important to recognize where most of that value is coming from. It's really coming from three places. This right here, this right here, and this right here. With a little bit of value coming out of that one. So I'm going to note here the variabilities. Um, high variability on this one here. You basically are all in on getting one of the really good um, extended art foils coming out of this. You're basically all in on getting one of the decent um, rares or mythics out of here. Um, there's there's a, a fair number of them, but the, most of them are duds. Um, same down here. Relatively low variability down here. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of pretty middle of the road hits. A couple of pretty good hits. You're not going to open anything that's worth $100 down here, but, you know, it's it's solid. It's your workhorse. So this is this gives you a sense of where this is at. So your expected value is a high variability expected value. You're gonna, so what does that variability mean for us up here? Well, you're going to get a lot of variability in your packs by themselves. Um, I did not crunch the numbers here. I don't have a distribution for you. That would be a lot of work, way more work than I'm willing to put into this. But you're looking at, you know, a lot of packs are going to be sitting down at like 4 to $8. You're going to have some packs that could be $300 and everything in between. Your per box, you're going to get less variability, right, as you open more and more packs. So if you really wanted to, you know, hit this EV with certainty, and this is why, I mean, honestly, you had the means... Mass box opening on these bad boys would be the way to go, but good lord, how many of those would you probably need to, to wash out the, the variability? A lot. A lot. Clearly some stores did it. Clearly some stores did it, but not very many. There you go. So should you buy it? You can be the judge.